Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my quarterly subscription box favorites, and this is for the second quarter of 2019. If you're new to my channel, I do lots of different subscription box unboxings here, um, from beauty, bath, home decor, fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. So this is gonna be my favorite things that I've gotten or used during the months. Um, some of the stuff I get, I haven't had the chance to use yet, so it could be in a future video, and there will be a giveaway in this video, so stay tuned until the end to know a little bit more about that and let's just go ahead and get started so I'll start with kind of like what I'm wearing so the first thing that I'm wearing is this shirt and this says um, she believed she could but she was ti really tired so she didn't and we got this in the dot box I believe it was for May and actually I was sent a large instead of a small and I was fine with a large because it can just be a sleep shirt but she went ahead and sent me out a small and so this is the small that fits me really well I think it's a really cute shirt and it is super duper comfortable so I've been wearing it a ton as well as the, the large one as more like a sleep shirt. The next thing is this little necklace here. It's a little like sun shaped necklace. It's very dainty. I got this as an add on to my pop sugar box for summer. Um, it didn't come in the actual box. I can't remember how much it was to add it on, but I just love the necklace and I'm so happy I got it because I've been wearing it a lot. So then on my ears are these tassel earrings and I have a couple of the other tassel earrings in my favorites um, but these ones I received in the my book club box um, and this was I can't remember what month it was but it was the box about clover blue um, and so I really like these earrings they are like gold which is my color of choice for jewelry and white so you can wear it with lots of different things so very excited about that another favorite is my haircut it's not a subscription box item but I I'm just loving my haircut so <laughs> side note all right, I have stuff like laid out in different places, so I need to not forget anything. But the first thing that I'll pull over is this little plant potter that I got from Globe Inn. I got a set of two. This was how this, this is a fake cactus, so I'm not hurting myself right now. But this is how it was before, and I just feel like this fits my apartment vibe so much, and these are just really cute. So I have another one as well, but I didn't want to bring both over here. What else do I have? Oh, for like a, another Globe Inn, and that was an add-on, not part of an actual box. The other thing that I really love that I've gotten from Globe Inn, I love lots of different things that I've gotten from them, but I tried to pick my favorites, was this robe that I just unboxed from the V, I think it was the VIP sale for June, but it is just a long, like kind of paisley print robe in blue. It also has um, a little belt to tie it around. It looks like a kimono on and it is super duper comfortable. It feels really, really great. And I love putting this on after I get out of the bath and just lounging around in it until I go to bed. I've just been really enjoying that. I've only worn it a couple times because I just got it, but I know that I'm gonna be using it a ton. All right, so I have some items next to me. This is a lot of jewelry. So the next thing is a necklace that I got in my jewelry box. I think it might've been from May. I'm gonna take a guess. But that is what it looks like. It's a little gold medallion necklace. I love gold, like I said, and I just think that medallion necklaces are super in style right now. And so I've been wearing it a ton. I uh, really love it. Now a bunch of earrings. So we'll continue with the tassel earrings. So I received these pink tassel earrings in the My Statement box. I can't remember which one. This was like their first box. But I think that these are really pretty. They're gold. And then they have these little pink tassels. And I have a lot of shirts that go with these. So I've been wearing them a ton. Then the next pair of tassel earrings are in green, and I got these in the um, Little Wild Things subscription box. So these are a beautiful green color. They go with a lot of my stuff. They're gold as well. A lot of people have been asking me why I haven't unboxed it. I just haven't gotten one. They usually send them to me, and I just haven't gotten one for June, so uh, they might have stopped sending me them. But those are those earrings. Now there's a ton more. Okay, so again from my statement box, we got these earrings is the most recent pair and I've been loving these as well. They're really cute. Obviously it's hard to really show with these other earrings on, but I've been loving the little tortoiseshell look. These again, oops, let me just drop it everywhere, are from Globin add-ons. I just showed these not too long ago, but I think they're super fun. They jingle a lot though, <laughs> but I just love gold earrings and these are super fun. They have little charms on them and they're very beachy. And the last pair of earrings are from Balzano handbags and I think we got these in in June actually. Um, so it was in the Lux box, but these are just like little hoops that you put on. I just really, really like the hoops. I'm into gold, I'm into hoops. So these are right up my alley. And so I've been wearing them a ton. 
Now this item is a little bit different. So this is from the special delivery by Taste of Home subscription and it came with a cookbook and this is the Make It, um, Take It cookbook. And I've cooked a handful of recipes out of here already and they're just so fun and summery and just, I don't have a cookbook with things like this. So I've been really enjoying um, trying out the different recipes in here um, and they've been very delicious so far. All right, now a big basket. I get this basket from Globin. So I put a lot of my favorite items in here. The first one that I'm pulling out is a food item, and this is a brot um, option. So it has little breads in it. They call this like a bread basket. I got this in the, my German food box, and so it has different little slices of German bread. So this is Vierkörner Brot, the Feuerkorn Brot, Leinsamenbrot, um, and Pumpernickel bread. I've been loving these, putting a little bit of jam or something like that on them in the morning or just for a little snack. It's really good, and I've been really enjoying those. Now it's going to be a lot more makeup y products. So, first thing I'm pulling out is the Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. I am wearing this today on my cheeks. Um, I have been loving this. Um, I didn't used to wear blushes, and I. This is more of a like neutral color, or on me looks a little bit more neutral color blush. I just don't really love the pinks. Even though I have a pink undertone in my skin, I just prefer more of these neutral tones. So I just mix all three colors together and put them on my cheeks. That's what I've done today. Can't remember which boxy charm this came in. I think it might've been May. I think everything came in May, but I think this came in the May box. Um, and I've been really, really enjoying using that. Next is a Myro deodorant. We got this in a Bombay and Cedar, and I think this was April actually where we got this. Um, you could have gotten them in different scents and stuff, but I have switched over to natural deodorants. I don't know if that's gonna last me all summer. I'm gonna be honest with the heat here. It has been not as good as maybe traditional deodorants, but I'm trying to use this. I've been using another deodorant and I've been switching to this one on and off. This one is a great price because it's 10 bucks, which is kind of expensive for a deodorant, but not for a natural deodorant because the other one that I've been using, I think was like a $27 deodorant. So this is much more affordable for me. You can switch out the de deodorants. I'm not going to open it because I've used it, um, but you can switch out the little stick inside and it saves plastic as well, which I think is great. And you can get these in different colors and different scents. I think if you sign up, it's like a subscription actually, but whatevs. Okay, so the next thing I'm pulling out is for the Candy Johnson and Pure Lease collab it is their Butter Me Orange Creamsicle Body Butter. I received this in an Ipsy Plus. I think it was last month, so not June, it was May, where I got this. It smells really great like oranges. It makes your skin feel amazing, so I've really been enjoying this body butter. I've been just loving lotions in general, so that's a lot of fun. Then in the Fat Fit Fun for summer, we you have had some choices, and one of them was the Sol de Janeiro, um, and you got the Brazilian Four Plate Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. It also came with a mini of their Boom Boom Cream, which I love as well, but I've said that in my favorites before. But this smells just like the Boom Boom Cream. It's really nourishing and moisturizing. It makes you smell great. It makes your bathroom smell great, so really love that. Then we got these, and this is not the one I used. I, there was another one as well. This is the Unwind by Husk. This is their Province Rose inspired hair mask. So this one is a little bit different than the other one. This is, um, they have different extracts or things in it. This was like, the one that I used was a little bit different, but it smelled amazing. I made my hair smell amazing. And it made my hair feel really, really soft. I like to do hair masks. I usually do them on Saturday, every Saturday. I do them once a week and I really liked it. And this for me was two uses just because I cut my hair. I have less hair now, but if you have longer hair, you probably use the whole thing. Um, so I really, really enjoyed that. Then last month in the June Ipsy um, Climax Plus, I got the Sunday Riley CEO Moisturizer, which I had never, or hydration cream, excuse me, which I had never tried before. I really do like it. It's a little bit thicker than I prefer for a moisturizer for summer. This is probably a better fall, spring moisturizer for me or even winter, but I've been using it on and off when my skin does feel really dry. I tend to use more gel-based moisturizers in the summer just because I'm an oily skin girl, so the summer I have to be very careful with the skincare products I'm using. In the winter, I can kind of use whatever, but I have been enjoying that. Another moisturizer that I've been really enjoying is this Centella Asiatica um, Multi Lotion by Pure Foray. And I got this in the summer um, Lux Plus Facetory box that I opened the other day. This moisturizer is great. It's a big moisturizer, and I think that it's you can use it for more than just your face, but it is like a gel. Oops, I just squirted a lot, but it is like a gel-based moisturizer. It smells 
to me it smells like um, tea tree or something like that so it smells like essential oils but it's a really great like hydrating gel type of moisturizer which is perfect for me in the summer so I've been using this a lot and the scent kind of goes away so if you're somebody who gets headaches from like scents or essential oils this probably will not bother you but I've really been enjoying that and using it a lot I actually have a lot of favorites from that that particular box so also the Sirocco so, excuse me, Sirochi, Sirochi, I don't know how you say it. The Rice Embryo Calming Essence. I've been really enjoying that. I've been trying to add essence into my skincare routine. And at that point, I had only tried one other essence. This one smells really good, sinks into the skin fast, and I've been enjoying it so far. Also from that box, we have, it's from Aperir. I don't know how you say that, but it is the Be Frozen Pore Mask. So, oily skin, lots of pores, try to get them cleaned out. This is a not a dry down clay mask. It's more of a moisturizing one, but it has a cooling effect on your skin. So if you are super hot, you're you're outside, you're sweaty, you're gross, you go and you take a shower and then you want to do a mask, this is great because it makes your feel, feel face feel like cooling and I just felt so good after I used this mask the other day and I wasn't even like outside and really hot and sweaty, but it made my just my face and everything feel amazing. So I'll definitely be using more of this. Then um, in a glossy box, I think it was, it was the same box where I got this. I think that was actually June. I got a Morgan Taylor nail polish. Now I'm not a huge person on nail polish because I don't paint my nails, but I do paint my toenails. So there's only certain colors that look good on your toes. So your feet don't look dead. <laughs> so I can't like use like natural colors and things like that. Cause then it just looks weird. But this pink is really cute. Probably a better spring polish color, but I've really been enjoying it. I have it on my toes now and we'll definitely be getting a good use out of that. It kind of has an iridescent shimmery shade to it, which I don't really have a lot of nail polishes with that. All right. So let's do some more makeup items. So the next thing is this floss gloss and we got this in the Allure box for June. And this is just, it's a clear lip gloss. If I swatch it, you're not gonna see anything. It smells really good and it's a really great lip gloss. It makes your lips feel really, really nice. You can just put it straight on your lips or on top of a lipstick. I've really been enjoying it. I haven't used a whole lot of it because I just got it, but the times I have used it, I've really, really enjoyed it. Then from Il Maquillage, I got this mascara and an Ipsy and just opened it the other day because I finished up my other mascara or I had had it for a while and I've really been enjoying this mascara so far because I've already opened it I'll show you the brush and I am wearing this today that's just the brush it works really great for top and bottom lashes I'm very picky when it comes to um, what I like on my the top and bottom lashes so there are some times where I'll use one mascara for my top lashes and a different one for my bottom lashes just depending on how it performs but this works great on both and I really enjoy it then in BoxyCharm, we got the No, no Problem Prime Essence. I think we got this in the most recent one, so June in BoxyCharm. I've been really enjoying it so far. We got another primer from them previously. It smells really good. Now, I don't know how much this helps my makeup last throughout the day, like a primer should or prep my makeup, um, but I have really liked it so far. I need to try it a little bit more to get a better opinion about it. Um, next is from Natasha Denona has amazing eyeshadows. We received a little mini eyeshadow. Mine is in the shade um, Bronzage um, in the Allure for May, I believe it was. And this is an amazing, I've never tried the eyeshadows before. It is an amazing eyeshadow. I love this eyeshadow. And I'm really excited that we got this because this is not, I'm not somebody who would go out and afford a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. So I'm excited to get that. I was really excited to get that and was not um, let down by the formula. Next thing is a Christopher Buckle lipstick that we got in a BoxyCharm. I don't remember which one it was. This is in Bardot. I said Bardot in my other video because I just don't know famous people, but that is what I'm wearing on my lips today. And I just think the shade is gorgeous. I love it. Very me. Um, so I've been using a lot of that. Two more items and then I'll get to the giveaway. So the next item is from Artist Couture and this is their Diamond Glow Powder. This is in Summer Haze. Basically, it is a powder highlighter. I am wearing it today not sure how shimmery it comes across on camera but in real life it is just like a powder and i just I, at first i was a little bit nervous to use it because i never used anything like it before but it is very it's a very glittery um highlight and i really love it um it's very blinding i don't it doesn't always last all day you would have to touch it up but i really do like that and then my last item is not a beauty item, but it is a um, tea that I got in my Sips for June. And this is by the Fava Tea Company. This is their Farver, Farmer's Market Peach Tea, and it is caffeine free. 
it smells so good and tastes so good it smells like peaches and cream and tastes like peaches and cream i don't know how to get the cream flavor in there because what it has in it um it has apple carrot flakes pineapple cubes freeze dried peach flavoring well i guess in the flavoring rose petals and safflower but it is just so good i'm going to be having a cup of this tea right after this so the giveaway I had gotten some points from BoxyCharm from people signing up, so I ordered a couple things for you guys. So the first is the Alamar Cosmetics Brush Trio. I, we got this in a previous box. And then also a Milk Makeup Mascara. So this will, these will be the two items in the giveaway. Maybe I'll throw in a little sample, a couple sample things as well. But this will be the main items in the giveaway. To enter, I will have a link down below. You do have to be a subscriber who lives in the United States or Canada to win. If you're not, you won't win. <laughs> um, but if you sign up through the link, if you go to my Instagram, you get like an extra entry. So feel free to go over there as well. This giveaway will be open until next Wednesday, which I believe is July 10th. And it will close midnight Eastern that day. So go ahead and enter and um, I'll be excited to give those items away. So what did you like this quarter? What items do you agree with from my, my pile? What items would you add? What, have, what have been your favorite products or subscription boxes? I'm sure I left stuff out because I've gotten so much stuff and because I moved, I haven't, I don't, I haven't unboxed everything yet. Let's be real. So I still haven't pulled everything out, but I'm really curious to know what you guys have had as favorite items. Um, and if you agree with the items that I have, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.